Cannes, France. This picturesque resort city of 68,000 people in the French Riviera is known for its beaches, sun, and the annual film festival. And the man in this death-defying story could star in his own real-life horror movie. Meet Cannes resident and motorcycle enthusiast, 56-year-old André Messager. His harrowing tale begins in a torrential downpour in the early morning hours of September 9, 2005. Driving rain had reduced visibility to zero and the streets were turned into rivers. André had just delivered his motorbike to a repair shop and was running through the streets to return home. He didn't realize the raging torrents had lifted a storm drain cover directly in front of him. André is plunged deep under the scenic streets of Cannes, falling eight feet into the raging and churning currents of the underground sewer pipes. He is injured, stunned, and horrified to find himself in this predicament. Alors là, j'ai que y avait rien à faire. I had fallen down into this torrent. It was like a washing machine. I realized there was nothing I could do. I had torn my arm and whacked my head. I'd fallen down, legs everywhere, ripped my hand to pieces. He fights to hold on, but the slippery surfaces provide absolutely no grip. But he realizes he's holding on to something. It's his helmet. Without thinking, he jams it on his head and readies himself for what's to come. So I cross my arms over my chest, like this. I remember it was like a really quick toboggan in the pitch black. He is tossed from side to side like a rag doll, along with debris, sludge, and human waste. At one point, I was literally like a ping pong ball. I hit something like a bit of concrete, my shoulder hit it, and there was a massive crack. I felt my shoulder pop out, and then it popped back in again. The strong current sweeps him along. His head is bashed against the walls, but his helmet protects him. The only thing I could think of was swimming and getting hold of something, so I swam like a crazy man, even though my shoulder was completely ruined. But luckily for André, someone has seen him disappear down the hole. Meet Luelia Pissot. I was there early that morning. I saw a man run up and fall into the sewer. It was just unreal. I couldn't believe it. I thought, we won't see him again. Luelia calls for help. The fire department is the first to arrive. Meet firefighter Frederick Patore. We saw the spot where he had fallen, and we realized very quickly, because there was a very strong current, that there was no way we could go in to see what had happened. It was far too dangerous. At first we tried to follow the sewers on the surface to see if we could see where he might emerge further on down. But then we couldn't do that anymore because it was all underground. Andre has been in the sewer for only five minutes, but he's traveled almost a mile and a half. What he doesn't know is that he's quickly heading to his final destination, the open sea. Mustering his strength and his wits, he grabs hold of a ledge just in the nick of time. I called for help and I saw this face. She looked down and she nearly fainted of shock as she said, what are you doing down there? And I said, I've fallen in the sewers. Go and get the fire department. Andre is found but he's still trapped below ground. But rescue crews can't get to Andre at the point where he's been discovered. They have to look further away. About 200 meters away, there was a much larger opening where we could access the tunnel he had been in. When I saw the rescue team and the light, I said, finally, that's it. It's over. The nightmare is over. C'est fini le cauchemar. But André has to hang on for two more hours before firemen can finally free him. Injured and soaking, but happy to be alive. 
His helmet turns out to be a lifesaver. But was this sewer slide story true? So that leaves André Messager, the man who fell into a sewer during a raging storm, traveled almost two miles, but managed to stop before being swept out to sea. It's totally true. Well, uh, this is the drain where the lady found me eventually, 2.5 meters underneath this little grill. I think Monsieur Messager is really very lucky. He had the presence of mind to put on his helmet, plus he was very fit. Not everyone could have survived a situation like that. One wrong step turns out to be an amazing story of survival and luck. And it's all true. Were you able to guess correctly? Well, if you promise to watch where you're walking, you can join us again for another episode of Urban Legends.